Hey everyone, if you're looking for the best CPU coolers for the Intel Core i7-12700K, you need to watch the whole video till the end. I've picked out three coolers that offer great performance without breaking the bank. We'll check out a budget-friendly option, then a more premium cooler, and lastly our top pick that balances performance and price. Stay with me, and if you find this helpful, please like the video, subscribe for more content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. All the details and prices are in the description. Let's get started. Number 3. Scythemugen 6 – Best Budget CPU Cooler for Intel Core i7-12700K the Scythe Mugen 6 is an air cooler that doesn't go after your wallet, but it surely matches the performance of competitors that are priced twice or more. This cooler is a prime example of not spending a fortune to get decent cooling performance. Scythe has been known to produce various coolers that are aimed at quiet operation and excellent performance without costing a premium. Starting off with the variants, Scythe Mugen 6 comes in two options, the standard Mugen 6 and the Mugen 6 Black Edition. While the naming may throw you off, the only difference between the stock and the Black Edition is the addition of an extra fan and the paint job. All of this costs around $8 more than the standard version. Moving on to the packaging, the cooler comes with mounting brackets for AMD and Intel chipsets, a single Wonder Tornado fan, a screwdriver, and the usual thermal paste, fan clips, and a fan splitter cable. The packaging offers decent support for the cooler, so you should be fine getting it shipped over long distances. From a design perspective, the cooler uses a single tower heatsink, which is not as optimal as a dual tower design, but it still does the job quite well. The heatsink consists of six 6mm heat pipes connected to the nickel-plated copper base. The included fan is a 120mm non-RGB fan from Wonder Tornado with FDB bearings. This is considered some of the best when it comes to reliability and noise levels. In addition, the fins count on the heatsink has been increased by about 45% compared to the previous model. This helps the overall air pressure and airflow, which in return improves the cooling performance. Speaking of performance, the Scythe Mugen 6 is able to perform better than other budget options like the Deepcool AK500, while completely outclassing more expensive products such as the Noctua NHP1 by a mile. Under high workload, the cooler is able to maintain temperatures well within the 65 degrees Celsius mark with a CPU like the i7-12700K, which is a job well done for a budget air cooler. The noise levels are also quite acceptable, and it maintains a lower decibel value than the Deepcool AK500 in the budget category. That said, it isn't a completely silent operation, and you'll be able to hear the fan noise as the fan speed ramps up. As for installation, it's quite simple and there isn't much to it since it's a simple air cooler. Plus, thanks to the included long screwdriver, you can easily install the screws even with the motherboard inside the PC case. Another plus point for the Scythe Mugen 6 is full RAM compatibility. This means even tall RAM sticks installed on the first DIMM slot shouldn't interfere with the heatsink, and you should be able to install it without any interference. In terms of support, Intel chipsets include LGA1700, 1200, and more, while AMD support is limited to AM4 and AM5. Lastly, the overall weight of the cooler comes in at about 1013 grams, with the fan installed, which is slightly on the heavier side for a single tower design. All in all, the Mugen 6 is an absolute budget king when it comes to air coolers, offering performance that surpasses that of more premium products, along with some nice attention to detail that's really convenient during installation. To sum up, what I like is the full RAM compatibility, the price to performance is exceptional, and the noise levels are okay. On the downside, plain and boring design. Number 2, MSI Mag Core Liquid 360R V2, 
best premium CPU cooler for Intel Core i7 12700K. If you're looking for a cooler without being bound by a budget, the MSI Mag Core Liquid 360 RV2 is one of the best options to go for. This cooler has all of the features that you're going to need, and more. Starting from good build quality to effective cooling technology, ARGB lighting, and overall design aesthetics, the cooler has it all. Let's see why. The V1 version of the Core Liquid 360R was infamous for eventually not working due to an issue with the coolant. MSI has rectified this issue in the V2 version, and thankfully that's no longer a concern. Other than that, the product remains pretty much the same, with the exception of adding support for an additional Intel chipset. In the box, you'll find all of the accessories for installing the cooler on supported chipsets, along with three ARGB 120mm fans. These fans have a max speed of 2000 RPM and come with PWM support, allowing them to automatically adjust their speed per system load. Support for chipsets include Intel LGA1700 all the way down to 1150, while support for AMD starts from AM2 to the latest AM5 chipset. The mounting bracket for some supported chipsets isn't included in the content, such as AMD Threadripper. In terms of design, the MSI Mag Core Liquid 360R V2 uses three 120mm fans on the aluminum radiator that has a length of 394mm. This also comes in a smaller option with two fans, making it accessible for even compact cases. Instead of an LCD screen, the pump includes a unique MSI blockhead that can be rotated at 270 degrees, which should remove any alignment concerns when installing the cooler. Inside the pump is a three-phase motor, reducing vibrations and increasing the overall durability. The two tubes are braided with a mesh exterior that has been reinforced with three layers of plastic to ensure there's no evaporation. Along with the black variant, it also comes in white, making it suitable for white-themed builds as well. When it comes to performance, this cooler doesn't cut any corners, and it's able to match the performance of rivals like the Corsair IQ Link Titan 360RX while being a relatively cheaper option. The overall acoustics are also really great, thanks to the two ball-bearing fans included in the box that reduce the overall noise levels and improve the longevity of the fans. When playing AAA titles like Hogwarts Legacy and Resident Evil 4 Remake, the average temperature remained at around 60 degrees Celsius with a CPU like the i7-12700K. Installation of the cooler can be slightly tricky if you haven't installed an AIO cooler before. However, there is an included manual that you can reference for instructions on installation. The tubes have a length of 400mm, so they should be able to reach the pump quite easily. MSI offers the Mystic Light software that allows you to control the ARGB lighting on the fans and the blockhead. Finally, the cooler weighs around 1,680 grams in total. To summarize, the MSI Mag Core Liquid 360R V2 is an AIO that builds upon its predecessor by rectifying the primary pain point, allowing it to reach its full potential in performance. In addition, the cooler features a unique blockhead which gives it a pleasing look. To sum up, what I like is the vast support for chipsets, the cooling performance is great, and minimal acoustics. On the downside, installation can be tricky. Number 1. Cooler Master Master Liquid 240L – our top choice. If you're looking for a reliable AIO that doesn't break the bank, the ML240L Core is a solid option. It offers superb performance, near-silent noise, sleek aesthetics, and an affordable price tag. It's the perfect pairing for mid-range CPUs if you want to get the most value out of your money. It has the features of a high-end AIO without costing that much. The cooler is available in two color schemes, the standard black version and a white variant. It's worth noting that the white variant will cost you a little more money, but it will look great on a white build. 
The black version is more standard and will look good in almost all builds. Plus, the added ARGB fans should make it easier to make the cooler match your existing lighting. Speaking of the fans, the ML240 core features two 120mm fans, each rated for a max RPM of 1750, which will be more than enough to cool most CPUs. With Cooler Master's optimized fan speed curve, you can rest assured that your CPU will be cool, even under high loads. The fans look good, but what about the radiator? The ML240L core features a 240mm radiator. It features expanded radiator fins, which should hasten heat dissipation, resulting in overall better cooling performance. On the topic of heat dissipation, the ML240L core's pump is quite efficient at that. While it's mostly the same Asetek pump that most other competitors use, Cooler Master has made some adjustments to make it even better. Most importantly, the redesigned copper plate targets the hotspots of the CPU more accurately. This is then paired with a faster water flow and pressure to make the cooling even more efficient. So far so good, but what about compatibility and installation? This cooler supports a wide range of sockets and comes with separate mounting hardware for AMD and Intel. It is always nice to have room for an upgrade in the future. The installation process is quite standard, so you'll not have any problems there. Now, for one of the most important factors of a good AIO, the noise levels. A cooler can be great at performance, but it can be equally annoying if it has bad acoustics. Thankfully, the ML240 core doesn't disappoint in that regard either. Under maximum load, the noise can go up to 27.2 decibels, but that's the worst case scenario. For normal gaming sessions, acoustics won't be a problem. There are quieter options out there, like the Fantex Glacier 1 240, but the ML240L core is just better in terms of pure performance. With performance and acoustics out of the way, let's talk aesthetics. As mentioned, the ML240L core comes in two color variants, each looking quite good. Cooler Master clearly chose a minimalistic theme for this cooler. The cooler doesn't have a ton of RGB, except for the fans and the iconic Cooler Master hexagon on the pump. This could be a deal breaker for some people, but on the contrary, it offers superb cooling, minimal aesthetics, and adequate acoustics. While there are other options at this price range, the ML240L provides probably the best value. In short, it's a great cooler and a great pair for the 12700K that doesn't cost much. To sum up, what I like is the minimal aesthetics, expanded radiator fins for better heat dissipation, simple installation, great value for money. On the downside, design might be too simple for some people, acoustics could be slightly better. Ratings. Design and aesthetics, 8.5 out of 10. Cooling performance, 9 out of 10. Noise, 8.5 out of 10. Installation, 9 out of 10. Value for money, 9.5 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Don't stop here, I've more videos packed with suggestions and reviews to help you optimize your setup. 